Hey, welcome back everybody. It is 619 on February the 6th. I am getting ready to leave my house and go meet my brother, Zach, at the um, at Herkia Glades Wilderness Area. We're going to be hiking, camping for a couple days. He called me this afternoon, asked if I'd be able to uh, meet him. Uh, and luckily, I'm free and able, so that's what I'm gonna go do. Uh, it's about a four and a half hour drive, so uh, I'll catch up with you guys when I get there. They, uh, their cars couldn't make it to the site, so I'm rescuing these, these ladies back here. Let me, uh, you know, I'll get... Yeah, I'll get it. Hey, Zach, you want to come with me? Yeah, Getting gas for the second time, just filled up. Got less than an hour to go. Here we go. All right, so it is 11.34. I've made it. I have near full tank of gas, which is good. Zach's on his way back hiking up here and we'll go back to where he made camp together. It's about a 20 minute hike for him. So I'm gonna get everything ready and uh, we'll see you back at the campsite. It's got out of my pack, so. So we're at Hercules Glades Park. We, I arrived last night at 11.30. <laughs> Zach met me. He was already here. We hiked to this little spot, which is the first camp spot along the trail. Uh, what trail is this? this Long is Creek? Uh, Long Creek Trail. The Long Creek. You can see our little dry spot over there. We had a tarp up and a tarp down. And uh, it drizzled a bit, but nothing bad. So we are now on our way to the second camping spot along Long Creek Trail. And down at the bottom of these rocks here is much needed water. So here we go. Oh, and we've been up all night. We haven't slept. Whoa. Great. So, do, okay, you have your, your seating pad swinging like crazy. That doesn't bother you? No. It's only, it's only when it has weight to it. See, mine drove me crazy. That's why I don't bring it, because that's what it did, and it drove me nuts. Mm. No, because my pack, my pack on my, on my chest. In case you guys weren't aware, we have Rafiki up in the lead there. So, one of the things that I do like about this place is how how much the landscape changes from area to area. I mean, we were just up on a hilltop that was pretty rocky, then it went through like a meadow down the hill, and now we're going down the hill, but much more trees. A lot more leaves. The other one was all grassland. It's just crazy um, how quick the landscape at Hercules Glades can change here. You get like a stream on the hill, and then you go into a nice little path, and the stream disappears, and then it goes back off the grassland. And we're at the creek down here. Where I'll be filling up some water. Does your water you need to fill too? And what do we get to camp? We're okay. gonna come back and get it. Cause we gotta walk about, we gotta walk more than what we just walked to get to camp. I'm gonna fill up now. Oh. Anyways, we're here. We're crossing this and then we gotta go to our camp, the second camp. We may go a little further than that, but uh, this is some nice clean water here. It's, it's, it's beautiful here, it really is.
after a rocky downhill descent. Now we're in blades. Nice grasslands. One of my most beautiful parts right here. Coming into this little hidden meadow. So peaceful here. It really is. So whatever you just said wouldn't be on camera because it was all on time warp. It's just gonna show, just gonna show photos of us moving quickly through that area, which is fine, I guess. Look at that view, though. This is very picturesque. Crossing number two. Uh, Water was a bit high, so my shoes definitely got a bit wet. My socks, I should say, rather. Another river crossing, which is, this makes the third one. At this point, my shoes are already wet, so I don't really care too much, to be honest. And it's pretty deep, so whatever. I got extra socks with me. Not a big deal. The water's definitely higher now, than the last time we were here. We're going that way. White diamond. So this is kite this is site two. It has a nice big stone fire pit. We're gonna park our packs and walk down to this other potential site that uh if it's still well we remember it being might be nicer. It's uh it was nicer in the spring at least. With this being February, was it? Is it the seventh? February seventh. Mm -hmm. With it being February seventh, this spot, this next spot may not be as well. It could be a bit chilly because it's right on the creek here, river or creek, and the creek's up much higher than it was last time. So, yeah. Yeah. tree down. End up burning that if we need to. I know I'm a bit off trail, but. Maybe not. Huh? Maybe not. Yeah, the trail's right here. Oh, I guess that's the trail. I think people do a lot of switchbacking up here. I don't I don't know the proper term. Switchbacking, I'm pretty sure, is when you go back and forth on a trail. This is a game trail. I think there's another term for when you just create a brand new trail. Trailblazing? I think it's something other than that. Anyways.
It's just up here a bit. No, I don't think this is a game trail. I think this is the main trail. I think it. I don't know. I think it's swap back and forth. Okay, so just up here, see up there to the left, see how it's kind of like a open area? Yeah. You know what we're talking about going over there? Yeah, right up here to your left. I think, maybe it's a little bit further down. Good. Maybe it's a bit further down. There should be like a little, I don't want to call it a plateau, but a open area that kind of rounds, a rounded open area. That's what I want to do. Right along the left. You can kind of look down on the creek. Yeah. Not really like down, but you can. Right. You're, it's almost like an overhang, but not really. It's just kind of like a outcropping of land. But again, things are different, so it's not always easy to see. Well, we got water on this side. We didn't have water on that side. No, that was, yeah, this was all dry last time. But this is definitely roaring. Oh, yeah. Compared to what it was last time. Last oh. time it was like a trickle. It looked like that. Last time it looked like that right there. Now it's, it's much. And when we were coming the first time, we heard about the fall. Right, and there was no fall. And, and we were like, what are you talking about? There's no falls. Oh, look how, look how still that water is. Yeah, well, the falls area, we already passed. It was back there a bit. It's actually right near that camp that we're at. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's, right. that's what they call the falls, right? Yeah, it's, it's a very small falls, but on the map, that's what they're talking about. Okay, I, yeah, I think we passed it. No. You think it's up here? It's up here. I don't think it is, man. I don't remember walking this far forward before. There's a third site if we keep going. There's definitely a third site. But the area in which I was speaking of, it, it's hard to identify because it's winter. Yep. All right, so we're setting up camp. I uh, didn't bring my normal size tripod. Well, I did. It's actually in the car, but I decided last minute not to carry it because um, I just didn't like the way it was sitting on my pack and I didn't feel like carrying it the whole way. And I was we literally hiked in the dark to the first campsite. Uh, and I wanted to be as safe as possible. So, hopefully, this will get both of us in the shot. Uh, I think so. Good enough. Gonna be a way bit nip left all my down there. Think so? Yeah, I can tell when the sun completely goes away. No underquilt, right? Yeah, no underquilt. I haven't bought one yet. I got one on my Amazon cart. No blanket or anything else other than your sleeping bag? Like that's all you got is your sleeping bag? Yeah. I meant to pack my blankets and I washed them and didn't put them in the back. There's only one that I really wish I would brought, but that's all right. Done work. I think we've all done worse.
You saying you have stuff in the, t the truck? I don't care about the truck. What do you have here with you now? Sticking these front wheels down, I guess. gonna have to cook this deer, it's it's thawed. I don't know about the fish, but we'll probably have to cook that too. I got meat's gotta be eaten. Well, you could always make a tripod and smoke one and eat the other one grilled or something, you know. Well, if there's bears in the area, I would definitely be eaten. Or my pack would be taken and eaten. So this whole thing is going to smell like deer, for them at least. My socks are, my socks are wet from the water crossings, which really we didn't need to make, but uh, I was just following. So I'm getting wood split, going to get a fire going. I already spilled some of it. Just kind of forgot to uh, take you guys along for the ride. So here we go.
Oh, that one just shattered a bunch. Uh, it is pretty wet and damp. This wood is dry. It was it was dead standing. Sawed it up to pieces, breaking it up. I do have some fire starters, which we will be using. Cause I'm very hungry. I'd like to eat. I'll describe when this is all done and said. Huh? Talking to the camera. Did bring my sharpener, so I got that. Pretty hungry, pretty tired. Haven't slept, like I said earlier. Really looking forward to some food, hot, fresh food. So here's what I have. I have what do you what do you I forget what they call it. Yeti something. And then this one. Mm. It's just like a wood ketchup thing. So here's what I got. I got two different styles. A little like ketchup container full of wood and whatever. It's just called fire starter. My wife got them for Christmas. 
This one is like Weddy Yule, Weddy, Yeti Wool, uh, or something like that. I think it's actually called something hot. But, anyways, let's see how these work. And here we go. Here's Dad's lighter going. Being used. I don't know if I can get it off my belt. All right. So it's one of those plasma plasma lighters. Let's see how this works. Oh, that's pretty quick and easy. Does it burn right out though, or? Oh, okay. See, it's working pretty well. Yeah. That. That's just the one called fire starter. No, is that wood? Wood you found here? Oh, yeah. Check it. I want to see it. It's nice. It's very dry. Nice little red side cedar. It was, it was pine. dead standing. I literally just like pushed on it and it fell over. I was like, all right, mm -hmm. well, I'm taking it. Yeah. I may have pushed a little extra to make sure it fell over so I could take it, but you know. I really wanted it to start the fire because I really wanted the fire to start.
cinch. A little deer loin that has been roasting by the fire all day. It's actually only 11.25. We, we haven't done a whole lot since we moved here, but uh, it's we been a long night. A lot. Well, we have, we've got a lot of wood. We have fish over here, we'll, we'll show it before we eat it. We got our fire going nicely and we've just been chatting for a while around the fire. We got a decent amount of wood fucked up. We still got plenty to go, but we got all day and we're probably gonna eat this and go hike so we don't we won't be burning this for a few hours now. So Well, I don't think we do a lot of burns now either, so we'll be pretty tired. Yeah, I mean well I know I'll probably pass out around like seven, eight o'clock. Six uh, I, six I might, seven. Might pass out sooner now. It really depends on when the food hits and all the tiredness yeah. hits and so we won't we tonight won't be a late night but uh should be a fun night good hike after after a bit here i know a tree didn't go around it okay so this some... was this was kind of crazy zach was uh sitting here bucking up some wood and uh he cut half of the thing off well see there's like a there's a cavity though i wonder if it, someone did shove it in the cavity yeah, he was, he was cutting half it off, and when it fell off, here's what here's what we found. That's a big lighter inside the tree, covered in dirt or whatever. See, there's that's obviously that's, a cavity on the other that's side. That's fungus. That's not corrosion. Well, yeah, but there's a cavity in there, so I mean, there could have been a hole. Someone shoved it in. Still got a child lock on it. See if it works. Got a wire. Yeah. All my over there. Or over there. Oh here. Forgot you can take it off. You tainting that bad boy? I don't think so. I gotta get the dirt out. Nope. I saw a little bit of fun. Yeah, there, there was a little bit. Not much though, obviously. No. So it was crazy. Sawing wood up. There's a big lighter inside the cavity. That is insane, man. I've never seen that before. No. No, we didn't put it there. No, it's a koi. It's faded and everything. It's been there for a little bit. Not too yeah. long, though. I, I feel like that was a hollowed out tree and someone shoved it in there and then it. we were the little lucky ones who found it. That or, that or they threw it down and it shoved it up in there. Yeah, I mean, it... It obviously wasn't grown into the tree. No, there's no way possible. Because it, it came right out. Well, there's deer, there's some other food. This is our fish. It looks like it's got ash on it, but that's, that's done cooking. That's salmon. Trout, I mean, I'm sorry, it still had trout. Here we go. Still yeah. got our deer loin. Your chops over here. I'll get it in the middle. I guess I'm gonna go sit in my my sleepy nap time place. I have a sleepy nap time place too. Oh. oh, I'm gonna have to tighten these up a bit. It's too low for me, but it's good for eating. I know, but I haven't even sat in it since I hooked it up. I just hooked it up and that was that. Oh, drop your silverware on the dirty ground. Way to go, Josh. Time to eat a little bit. Hey, Rafiki, where's Simba? Rafiki, Rafiki don't like rain. Rafiki, go away till rain go away. Is Rafiki going night night? Ah, oh, Rafiki. Rafiki can't quite get out of the rain. <laughs> Why don't you put your head at the other end? Do my feet get cold? Mm -hmm. my feet are good. I think either way, a part of your body is getting cold <laughs> in that setup. No. I mean, I totally see you out here for like. Six more weeks for this setup, easy. 
No challenge. Is that because you're not awake to, to move around? Because I mean, you have hypothermia and you can't? It's so stable. <laughs> I need Hurricane Katrina bring it on. See? Ain't got nothing on me. Uh, I'm actually sitting pretty. My tarp covered my hammock pretty well. I could probably go up one more notch on my hammock, but this actually feels pretty nice, so I don't know. Let's see. I'm enjoying watching Zach here trying to get his hammock going. You don't know. You're right, I don't know. They call me hammock dyslexia. We still have a deer loin over there just keeping yeah. warm. Not really sure what we're waiting on to eat it, but this is definitely more entertaining. I am definitely trying to get this set up before I go and eat food. Yeah? Yeah, until you rock. What? Rock with it, lean with it. Ooh, that's already so You... Still dripping on me, all right. I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing with you. I would be too. Who ah, needs a sleeping bag? I mean, what's a wet blanket anyways? <laughs> oh, okay. You know, ponchos are great when the water doesn't drip through them. Are you talking to the water? Uh, you got this? It all looked so good when it wasn't raining. It all looked so good? Or it just wasn't leaking on you? I'm just chilling in the hammock. Zach went back to the truck to go get his tarp, two tarps. I don't know if he's gonna get one or two. He's having difficulty with his shelter. He didn't think about the rain. He did have a poncho, but the problem with the poncho is that it has a head in the middle of it uh, for your head hole. And he uh, is getting dripped on. So he went back to the truck. He's gonna probably, if his car starts, cause he's having, he, it was left on when he first got here, so it's been on since last night at 11 o'clock. The key was on the on position. Anyways, so he's headed back to his truck. If it starts, he's gonna start it, let it run, recharge the battery, mostly just get warm. But uh, that's his shelter now. We'll see what happens when he comes back with more proper gear. I think he had some other rain gear or something too he might be bringing back, so. I'm just relaxing. I just had a mint chocolate chip freeze-dried ice cream bar. One of those. Uh, what is it? I know it's not Mountain House. Oh, it is Mountain House, actually. That was wrong. Those actually aren't too bad. They're pretty tasty. I'm not a huge fan of, of these style meals. You know, the add water meals to them. I much... I much rather prefer just like bringing meat and eating that. We did bring a, pish, a piece of salmon, I mean trout, still had trout. We ate that. It was really good. Um, I had brought some bacon crumbles. It was mostly just fat. So we put that down in the pan and we uh, cooked the fish up. And we have been roasting a deer loin for like two hours now. That's a deer loin my brother Luke gave me from the deer they got two years ago. We all went hunting this year and we were unsuccessful in our hunts. I did see one 
it turned it was a broadside doe 150 yards 200 yards down a hill though um and i just didn't hit it luke shot at a at a doe that was running by us the we were going up a hill it was running down the hill on the opposite side of a creek he did fire a shot but didn't hit it and zach did not fire a single shot this year so we were all unsuccessful in our hunt this year Got a nice log gonna saw it up we need more wood so let's cut You know, when I come out here and do this kind of stuff, I always forget how tiring it is to saw and cut and chop and whatnot. So it's a good workout, that's for sure. So Zach finally made it back. He probably made it back about an hour after <coughs> after I had fallen asleep. Maybe even less than that. He got his tarp. He's set up now. No more leaky leaky on him. It's too late now. Everything's all wet. I mean, yeah, it's already wet, but no more leaky leaky. <laughs> now I can almost dry dry. <laughs> We're, uh, our fire's gone out. We've been just laying around talking. It's uh, it's getting colder. Like it's, it's. There's a good chill in the air now, and I mean it's been raining, off and on all day. But it's been raining more. There's still snow melting down here. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. There was snow over in that river, uh, creek bed over there. But it's, it's getting colder. So you know, neither one of us want to get out of our hammocks. But we both need to go to the bathroom. We both need to eat something. It is. Six o'clock, five fifty-four. So six o'clock on, on what is today? Tuesday or Wednesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. So six o'clock on Tuesday, and according to the weather report, it's supposed to basically just rain all night until the morning. 
And if that's the case, then we're probably going to just get up, go to the bathroom, get food in us, get back in our beds, hunker down, and then as soon as we get up at first light, what which one? What, what was first light? Was it like six twenty-five, basically. <laughs> Almost six thirty, yeah. Yeah, so around six around six thirty tomorrow morning, we'll actually get up and get out of bed, get everything in our packs, and then get out of here because there, there's no point to. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna pack up everything, but my, but my tarp and my, like basically pack everything up so I can throw it in the morning. Because to be honest, man, I ain't. I do not want to be trying to pack my pack that early in the morning. It's cold, frozen, everything's frozen. I need to do it tonight. Well, you know me. I, you know I'm going to have most of my stuff packed and ready to go tonight before I even go to sleep. So that way in the morning, I can just, the few items I do have out, I can quickly pack them up and put them where they need to go. Yeah, I got to get dressed and get my pants on for tomorrow, get everything dressed, and I'm just going to sleep in all that. I don't think I'm going to change. I think I'm just going to wear what I'm wearing and... Even though, even though it's a little chillier because it's, it's all wet. I mean, it's been raining all day. Even though my stuff's wet, I'd rather sleep in that and have a clean clothes to change into tomorrow if I want to. Because I, I would much rather put on those pants I have. I have a change of clothes. Well, you can't see them, but the yellow bag. I'd much rather save my change of clothes for tomorrow morning and throw that stuff on to hike out of here in some fresh clothes. I might sweat a little bit, but it won't be as wet as what I'm wearing. And it's not, my stuff's not soaked. It's, it's just damp. It's been raining all day, so everything's just damp. If you've been camping, if you've ever been out in the rain, you know what I mean. You may not be soaking wet, but you're just damp. Everything's a little wet. So, and, and if I change anything now, the clothes that I have are already damp, so they're already weighing a little bit more. That means everything that I put on that's not damp, that's dry and clean, would be damp by tomorrow. So everything would be weighing a little bit more on the pack out just because it's wetter. I'd rather carry those wet clothes on me. I'd rather just actually change in the car, I think. Just wear what I'm wearing, hike out, get in the car, change to cleaner clothes that are dry and fresh and whatever. And not have to worry about getting the set that I have in my dry bag wet. And then carrying even more weight because everything is wet. So, anyways, we're going to get up. We're gonna make some food, and then we're gonna probably pass out for the night. I I've, I've had like an hour, maybe two hours of sleep now. No, I've had about an hour of sleep now since yesterday at eleven thirty. Is when I got here. I slept for an hour while he was out uh, going to his car to get a, a tarp. And then I, that's it. He got, <laughs> he slept for about four hours at his car. You know, to be totally, he probably slept for like a, 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 a good two hours off and on. Yeah. He probably slept for two hours while he let his car run and stayed warm for a bit. And then he finally hiked back down. So he's got a little bit, more, and then he probably slept for, I don't know, what do you think? You got maybe like an hour. You probably didn't get even that, that much sleep while you're laying there. Yeah, so he's probably had about two hours. I've probably about had an hour of sleep. So once we eat, we're going to be passed out. And hopefully it's not too cold that it keeps us from sleeping. I, I think I'll be okay once I get in my in my sleeping bag. Right now, I'm just I I'm laying on top of it. Back in my gear, right now my or underneath it. Yeah, so. I mean, I was perfectly fine when I fell asleep. I came back down here and you woke, well, when I came back down and fell asleep and you woke me up and you said, hey, how's everything going? And then I was out. I don't, I was pretty comfortable. And I was in all my old clothes. Yeah. That was the pants I wore on Monday when I went into work. <sighs> so I have four cans of soup. I'm going to at least eat one can now. I would like to limit the weight I have to carry back. And I can do that by eating my food. So I'm gonna do that. The more I can eat, the less I have to carry. So it's 6.08 in the morning. It'll be daylight here in the next 20 minutes. You probably can't see me well. I was woken by Zach who was shivering because he was wet and cold. It had rained all night, pretty heavy rains. I would show you the ground, but it's just too dark to see anything right now. And my light's packed away. Actually, I got a flashlight, hold on. 
I didn't build the right shelter. You got me. You can see all the water. Uh, not a good example. Anyways, point being is it rained all night. Pretty bad. So we got packed up pretty quickly and we're heading to the car now. We should probably get to the car a little bit after sunrise. So yeah, it was a good camp. It was an interesting camp, uh, but gotta make sure you bring the right gear and you take care of yourself because things can go south pretty quickly anytime you're out in the bush. We hiked about 75% of the way we have about 15 percent to go most of it's going to be uphill it's an incline after this, it's pretty it's, tiring we've still hasn't gone to the incline we went through water that was up to our knees oh yeah twice <laughs> we are soaked um but i started dry i started completely dry and i'm ending it pretty soaked at least from the knees down i'll be soaked uh, from the waist up, I'll be, yeah, sweat drenched, damped on the outside, but the rain has stopped. There's plenty of water. I don't, you, again, you probably can't see it too well. This was all dry when we came through, so you can kind of see how well it's moving. But we're getting through it. Not much more to go. So we're up on the ridges now. A little bit windier up here. You can feel the wind come through. That breeze is definitely taking some heat out of us. It's still not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's just that we're wet, so it's any heat loss is, is magnified. The wind magnifies that heat loss through the wetness. But beautiful morning. The rain has ceased for the most part. We've been blessed. We're almost to our trucks. And uh, then it's off to get some coffee and food because we're both very hungry. I'm starving. How about you, Zach? Huh? Hungry? Death after breakfast. Coffee? Death after coffee. Breakfast after coffee. <laughs> so, we're almost there, but beautiful landscape. Hercules Glades Wilderness Area. I wish we could have shown you more of the area, to be honest. Yeah, um, it just rained a lot. Night. It rained a lot. There's a lot of beautiful trails through here. Um, there really are but this trip wasn't really about the land. This trip wasn't so much about all that. This trip was, was to get out and decompress and relax and uh, get some of the weight of the world off of us for a bit, so. We're just about near the trailhead now. In fact, I think right up there is the trailhead. I can't wait to change out of these wet clothes and put on something dry. Oh man. Ugh. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna have some new sleep sounds. Once I recorded out here this weekend, babbling brook, rain, fire so if those things interest you check them out huh oh yeah yep i see him raccoon well we made it back to our cars oh man national forest horse riders registered bear country uh, you know that kind of stuff This was This was a trip Truly it was time to get back to the car and change out of this wet gear and into something dry and warm We get coffee and food Here's the tower the Fire watch station our cars looks like we are the only ones here now there was a whole there was two other people uh yesterday but they have since gone so 
we will follow suit. Any, any closing thoughts, Zach, before we head out? You should always, always not check your, shark, your tarp before you go to bed. It is almost eight o'clock and uh, we're getting out of here. It was a trip. My shoulders are killing me. Uh, my back is killing me. It was, it was a great time though, uh, but I got a four and a half hour drive ahead of me. So we're, we're gonna go. Thanks for coming along. Hey, try, bro, media, production.